Okay guys, welcome to another episode of Sub Grub. I've got Bear over there and I've got Angel down here. Um, just so you know, Angel has, I just found out today, she has um, both hind legs, she has a torn ACL on both legs. So if you see her get up and struggle a little bit, that's kind of what's going on. She's getting treatment, but that's just kind of what's happening, kind of bumming on that. Um, but, and I'm gonna have to keep, keep the camera angle down a little bit. When it's focused on the TV, it keeps coming in and out. Um, but I got a new mic. Hopefully this sounds a little bit better to you guys. Uh, but today's video is gonna be about Roger Waters' The Wall. And uh, it's the Blu-ray. And this is, uh, <laughs> if you guys have any interest in Pink Floyd, it's it's awesome, um, you know. Roger Waters is from Pink Floyd, uh, which is a pretty iconic rock band. If you haven't heard of them, that you're one of the few. Um, they're pretty well known, and I really love their music. And I actually went to the Us and Them concert, and uh, is going on now. And uh, it's Roger Waters, and honestly, it was one of my favorite life experiences. Um, I think it's a great bucket list item. I mean, it's one of those things, I wanna see the wall in person someday, but uh, hopefully he'll, he'll do that again. My brother talk, told me about it, and that's one of the reasons I bought this Blu-ray, is because it's the wall, um, and it's mixed in Atmos. I mean, it's, it's just awesome. So, after seeing that, I really wanna see the wall in person. But I, I enjoyed the Us and Them concert so much that I've actually contemplated a flight to go see the show again. That's how much I enjoyed it. Um, but you know, with this being mixed in Atmos, uh, it's very impressive, and, and I hope to see more concerts mixed in immersive formats like this. Uh, it's it's really neat. Uh, and for those of you that don't know, immersive formats are where they have speakers overhead, and it's not just the speaker overhead that's great about it. Uh, if you have one of those formats, if it's Atmos or DTSX the the sound quality is lossless it's great it's high quality it's excellent um so i it, it's really more just than being overhead you can it's just everything is seems to be more coherent um i don't know it, it's an awesome thing but um but this is mixed like i said in atmos and uh pink floyd is known for their surround sound effects in concert uh, one of the things, one of the mo more notable effects is when the helicopter comes up and it's basically just a spotlight, but the way they do it, it really sounds like the helicopter swirling around overhead. And so it really translates well uh, in this movie. So that's a cool experience. Um, the visual effects, both in, in the movie and the concert are amazing. Uh, the art is cool. Uh, just his take on things is very interesting. Um, and by the way, the wall is actually shot in several different venues. And so if you pay attention, you can actually pick up on some of the sound differences between the songs. So that's kind of interesting. But the sound quality to me is very good. Uh, everything's very clear. It's, it's I don't know, I, I'm, I'm gushing about this, this Blu-ray. Um, kind of get used to it because I, I just enjoyed the heck out of it. Um, and, and it's, just so you know, it's not all straight concert. There's some storytelling involved. I would probably say about 70% is concert and the rest is some storytelling. Um, it's kind of interesting, goes into his life story and things like that. I found it interesting personally. Um, yeah, I don't know, I just really enjoyed this Blu-ray. Uh, and, and I've got to say, sonically, I think the Blu-ray it was a better experience, and I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that I was in an enclosed arena, um, you know. But I don't mean to take away from the experience of the concert itself because this is mixed, you know, in a sound room where everything can be very tightly controlled. And I was in an enclosed arena. We had, there are some reflections and things like that. All that said, amazing sound. Okay, but. It, but I gotta say, the experience of the concert in person was unbeatable. It was just, it, the, the Blu-ray does not replace the actual experience in concert. Um, but I've gotta say, this Blu-ray is exceptionally low priced. Uh, under 20 bucks, uh, I paid, I think, either 12 or $14 for it. Best money I've ever spent on a Blu-ray. Uh, amazing. So. Uh, you know, I hope Roger Waters does more like this. I hope he does more concerts mixed in in this type of immersive format. I think it's 
a great uh, thing for what he does. Um, you know, it, it's, and I really hope, I really, really hope that he brings back the wall. Um, his Us and Them tour, which I just went to, is amazing. It's outstanding. But the wall is now on my bucket list. It's something that, now that I've seen it on the Blu-ray, uh, and I've, I've seen him in concert, I want to see the wall. I want to see that whole production. I, it's, it's amazing on the Blu-ray. I want to see it in person. So I really hope he brings, brings it back because I would go to as many shows as I could possibly see. I'll go broke doing it. It's just amazing. Um, so, so far for me, this is easily my favorite Dolby Atmos Blu-ray. Uh, it's the least expensive. It's the one I enjoy the most. It's the one I put in the, the Blu-ray player the most. I've probably watched it five, six times. It's just awesome. So if you have any inclination at all for Pink Floyd or Roger Waters, to me, this is a no-brainer purchase. Uh, I am very happy with it. I'm thrilled with it. So, um, and just so you know, his Us and Them tour is still going on right now. Uh, and I think because some casual Pink Floyd fans forget that Roger Waters is from Pink Floyd, they might not realize what this show is. Uh, so there are some tickets that are still available, you know, and, and again, I would absolutely go again. Um, and one of the things that happened at the concert, a um, couple of things actually, uh, probably the nicest crowd of people I have ever been around in my life. I've been to some, you know, festivals, I've been to a few things, I've been to rock concerts, I've been, you know, I, I'm not a huge concert goer and I'm not a big fan of crowds, but this crowd of people were just the nicest people. I wasn't, it, I don't know, I don't know how, how to explain that, but I just felt very comfortable at this concert, personally. I, I don't know why that is, uh, but the people there were just amazing. Uh, I had a great conversation with a guy sitting next to me. Um, you know, it's, I don't know, I just really enjoyed that. But another thing that happened was at one point in the concert, uh, they really jacked up the bass, and it was really, really hard hitting, and it was so hard to the point that I felt it might be structurally compromising. Remember, it was an enclosed stadium, and on top of that, I was in the upper tier. So <laughs> I got a little worried because it was powerful. I mean, you couldn't help but feel it in your chest. It was just outrageous. Uh, so that was a cool thing. But um, anyway, I, I was there. I had my apps open. I'm checking out frequency charts and just really just geeking out on it. Uh, <laughs> probably a little too much. I should have enjoyed the show more. But um, yeah, they really cranked up the bass and it was just, man, it was a big old peak right around 73 hertz and it was just, man, you could just feel it. It was just, it was cool. But uh, anyway, guys, I really enjoyed the Blu-ray. I really enjoyed the concert. I really hope that wasn't my last time I ever saw Roger Waters in concert. It happened to be my first time. I really hope it's not my last. Uh, but I want to hear from you, uh, fellow Pink Floyd fans. Uh, I'm going to put out a hashtag that says hashtag bring back Roger Waters wall. Uh, I want to see the wall again. I want, I want that concert again. And he's talked about doing it. I really hope he does. So tell me what you guys think. Uh, tell me what you think of the new mic. Uh, I'm curious if it sounds all right. Uh, I won't know until I put it on screen myself. So we'll see. I mean, I did some testing, but from what I can tell, I sound a little bit better, but I I'd like your feedback on it. Um, and you know, tell me what you think. If you guys have been to the concert, tell me what you thought of it. Uh, if you plan on going, cool. I want to hear about it. Uh, I want to hear about what you think of this Blu-ray. Uh, honestly, best money I've spent on a Blu-ray, period. Um, really enjoy it. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching and please subscribe.